Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say, Lord, we give you praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Sing it from your heart to the King of Kings. I give you praise. I Say, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in me. Le malamo shalala Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all hands together. We'll take some time, 10 minutes or so, and pray in the spirit. Can we hold hands together all over this building? Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Together, saints. But ye be love building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Please look at me. Koinonia is a place where you meet the Holy Ghost. I met him and he changed my life. Tonight, the Holy Ghost wants to reintroduce himself to people in this place. For many of you do not know you hear people talk about holy ghost holy ghost he's the one behind the progress of this ministry he's the one behind the anointing he's the one behind the prosperity if you stop chasing the things you are looking for i tell you if you find him he's worth more than gold He's the answer to what you are looking for. The Holy Ghost. And Paul prayed and said, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said the, the love of God and the koinonia, the fellowship, the participation, the marriage, the oneness, the intercourse of the Spirit. Who is the Holy Ghost to you? Please listen. Until now, who or what is the Holy Spirit to you? 
do you know him do you even believe in his person do you believe in his ministry do you believe that the Holy Ghost can take you from where you are and produce a sign do you know that the Holy Ghost took Bezalel and made a wonder out of him do you know the Holy Ghost took Saul and produced a king out of him do you know the Holy Ghost took Deborah and made a wonder out of her do you know the Holy Ghost turned Jesus the word into a baby he made God become a baby he is that powerful he made God to become a baby and put him in the womb of a woman without surgery do you know the Holy Ghost made Saul to become the wonder that he became the Holy Ghost made Archbishop Benson Idahosa took him the Holy Ghost took Smith Wigglesworth from a plumber and made an apostle of faith out of him the Holy Ghost took a weak woman like Catherine Kuhlman and made a wonder out of her the Holy Ghost took an ordinary businessman called Walmart and made him among the world's first six rich people or the, the, the world 50 the richest 50 people what can the Holy Ghost not do in your life why do you limit him why do you underestimate his power I watched Catherine Kuhlman grow and she said I don't want to live five minutes without the Holy Ghost I didn't understand what she was saying you are the power in me listen to this song you are the fire at work in me you are my ever-present helper holy spirit i adore listen hear me it's not normal to see an ordinary human being doing extraordinary things can you not see that there is a force that can produce faith out of a man what makes some people not doubt what makes others strong we have neglected him we are looking for prosperity we are looking for power we are looking for titles he is the one jesus listen jesus said i can do nothing of my own but as i see my father the holy ghost directed jesus christ and brought him to a place of power and the bible says the spirit and the bride say come do you realize listen to me that you can do nothing without him oh if you could hear his voice many things in your life will come into order oh if you could understand his leadings certain sicknesses will dissolve and die out of your life oh if you would know his power all the people that come to sleep with you in the night and oppress you will go forever if you know him where the spirit of the lord is my bible says there is liberty there cannot be bondage bondage is an absence of his presence and now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty hallelujah when the holy ghost was about to leave jesus christ jesus cried in gethsemane he said what can i do without you holy spirit and he said father if it be thy will if there is another method you can walk without taking the spirit from me and the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence oh lord take not your holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit within me there is something called the joy of salvation 
When you live a sick free life, it brings the joy of salvation. When you walk in prosperity, it brings the joy of salvation. There are many of us today, you are confident you are going to heaven. Tomorrow you do not even know again the Holy Ghost. You have said, oh Lord, can you open the Bible to me? Oh yes. The Bible says, Jesus said, and when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will teach you. He will bring to your remembrance. He said, I have many things to share with you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, the Bible calls him the spirit of truth. He won't lie to you. He won't lie to you. If he tells you your life is blessed, he can make you become blessed. If he tells you you will marry, he can make you get married. Tonight, we are going to cry and say, Holy Ghost, reintroduce yourself to me. I've known you as the one who so, so, so and so person works with. I like you to pray. I know many of you don't understand the gravity of this prayer. I tell you the knowledge of the spirit will end many things in your life. So go ahead and cry. And say, Holy Ghost, you revealed yourself to Catherine Kuman, ladies. A woman shook her generation. How about you? Let my ears hear your voice. Holy Spirit, pray if it is true that you speak unto men. Let my ears hear your voice. My sheep hear my voice. Accurate perception in the Spirit. Holy Ghost, end confusion in my life until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be turned into a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine will be turned into a forest go ahead and pray and say holy ghost turn my wilderness turn my wilderness give me the joy of salvation let me understand what it means to fellowship with the holy ghost let me know what it means to hear your voice. Let me know what it means to walk in intimacy with you. I'm tired of religion. Pray and say, Lord, I'm tired of pretending like I'm hearing you when I'm not. I'm tired of pretending like you are leading me. Say, Lord, I've had different messages, but I'm not satisfied. I know you lead men. You can end confusion in a man's life. Trust him. He can lead you to destiny. He can lead you to your wife. He can lead you to your husband. He can lead you to a miracle. I believe his ministry he can show you what is wrong in your family he can tell you what to do I'm telling you he will tell you what keys to use Isaiah 30 and thou shalt hear a voice from behind thee saying this is the way what he in it and as a result you will find rest for your souls he can teach you Holy Ghost, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Give us encounters. Reveal yourself. The fellowship of the Spirit. The fellowship of the Spirit. Hallelujah.
listen brothers and sisters when you find him you will stop wasting your time in life cause he'll lead you and guide you to the city of above he'll lead and guide you to the place of destiny that's his ministry he'll lead you and guide you to the city of above it doesn't matter what your background is he'll lead you Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the reason why I was born. Are you listening to me? Are you ready to pray this prayer? Say, Lord, I'm tired of escorting men in destiny. The reason why I was born. He told Jeremiah, he said, before you were born, while you were still in your mother's womb, I called you and ordained you to be a prophet hear me friends until you discover your place in destiny you will never find fulfillment are you listening to me we are going to pray and say lord can you show me i went to the dam abu dam many times and i was crying I said, Lord, what is my purpose for living? I didn't come because my father and my mother came together. Why did somebody die this morning and it was not me? I'm an answer to the prayer point of someone. Somebody's prayer point necessitated my delivery. I will not die. I owe my generation a debt that I must pay. I like you to pray and for the first time in your life for some of you cry and say Lord why am I here men of greatness ask this question this is what begins to introduce the ministry of the spirit pray say Lord am I just here to marry a man am I just here to wait until a man gives me meaning am I just here to wait until I have children lift your voice and cry Say, Lord, what is my reason for living? You didn't just bring me to be a student. Let me know the joy of finding my place in life. Let me know the joy of finding my assignment. Please pray because the Holy Ghost is going to be revealing to men. Jesus, in Luke chapter 4 from verse 17, he opened the book as it was given to him and he read the prophecy that Isaiah wrote the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor to set the captives free to bind up the brokenhearted to declare the acceptable year of the Lord he said today is this scripture fulfilled the Bible says, for this purpose, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. For what purpose were you made manifest? Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me call unto me and i will answer i will answer i will show you great and mighty things about your life about your future about your destiny
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know something has happened to you tonight? See, listen to me. We are programming you to be great. This is a programming. We are giving you a mindset. It's a programming. The end is predictable. It's a programming. The Bible says, listen, it said there is no man who warreth, who will entangle himself with civilian affairs. He says he that desires mastery, he said if a man desires mastery, yet is he not crowned until he strives lawfully. There are many vessels in the house of God. Vessels of gold, vessels of silver, vessels of clay. Hallelujah. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, He sees four horns. These horns scattered around Judah. They are the ones who go and cause wickedness. And he said, Behold, I send you carpenters. And we are the carpenters that God is sending. and put things in order you may not see the effect now you may think it's just a sacrifice for nothing but it's a programming that will bring you into a realm of glory where you will become usable and then in it you will find rest hallelujah hallelujah we come from different families different backgrounds different spiritual exposures our job is to bring you into the truth of god's word regardless of what has been your mindset before hear me friends sacrifice is a language in the spirit it endorses you for greatness gather unto me my people they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice this is to make you rise you will not notice the changes but when you step out you will see the beauty and the glory of God upon your life and then you will know you will know that you have been alive and walking with the spirit if you stay with him in the secret he will not disappoint you in the open I assure you and the Bible says Obadiah 21 saviors shall arise they shall come out of Zion and they shall judge the Mount of Esau you are that Savior you are that Savior I wish the Lord can show you a glimpse of your future if you saw that there is no sacrifice you cannot pay that life of unnecessary or convenience at this realm it will not make you a champion I won't deceive you the person who loves you is the one who will tell you the truth at any cost I will not deceive you generals did not become generals just by wishing this is the pathway and the Bible says men of David ordinary men and they came to him in the cave of Adullam and David made warriors out of them to the point that one of them was such a warrior the sword would cleave to his hand and even when he turned it upside down the sword would not fall and he said the sword of the spirit which is the word of God we are making you a manifestation of the word of God. We are not producing members out of you. We are producing citizens of the kingdom. Are you listening to me? This is an apostolic ministry. 
we train you and then God announces you and sends you some of you here will be bishops of parishes we cannot afford to do a half big job on you you will cost catastrophe there are many of you that the revival of nations are upon your shoulders and now that we have the privilege we will drill you until iron sharpens iron and then when you step out you will be a sign and a wonder these prayers and this exposure to the word and the spirit will prune out different things from your life bad habits immaturity suddenly you will find out the bible says strong meat belongs to them who are of full age who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern good and evil how amiable are your ways O oh lord the bible says he showed his way to moses this is the way of the lord we are teaching you how to be miracle workers it's enough to come and lay hands it's enough to come and say look come for miracles but we will do that during the miracle service are you listening to me you are not the one in need of miracles you are the one that god is preparing so that he will send and the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards and then as a result will project in light and bear fruit upwards he said he that bears fruit john 15 my father will prune so god prunes those who are already bearing fruit in agri we call it pruning we remove the unnecessary leaves and all the resistances and then the tree is able to grow again for the kingdom of god is like a little seed planted in the earth and then it grows and it becomes a big tree this is what god is producing out of your life you may look weak you may look beggarly god did not send us to gather people who are already made no our job is that you come as you are and by the agency of the word of god and the spirit there is a translation in you many of you are coming under the disguise of education you are coming under the disguise of different things and god is bringing you and summoning you and one day you will blow the shofar and the nations will stand and listen to you can anything good come out of nazareth that's the testimony of some of you looking at me you know that if god does not help you the prophecies of your uncles over your life will come to pass just as they are predicted that you will be a useless boy that you will be a useless girl but while you are going the holy ghost intercepts and say not so not when i am here come and i will make you we will have the opportunity to watch some of you on tv one day we will have the opportunity to see many of you with your cathedrals and parishes and we will be proud that we invested the word of god we won't let you look at us tomorrow and said you are wicked people you didn't train us well we prayed for five minutes you were afraid of our feelings no sir you can insult me now there's no problem you will tell me thank you in the future there is a path so that when you see another person who claims to be entering the power of god through another means you can discern by your experience that this is not of god hallelujah there is a pathway that leads to glory and power when you see a man who is not walking in that path you know that his result is questionable because that id card in the spirit is not there hallelujah come and i will make you we're going to pray again hallelujah we're going to pray if you're tired lie down sleep whatever you want to do do it here 
because to sleep in the presence of God is better than going to go and jump around somewhere. Samuel was sleeping, but he was near the ark and he had the voice. So it's better to sleep at least in the presence of God. You will pray tonight. We love you too much to leave you the way you are. Tears may come out of your eyes, but it's a track record in the spirit. You may forget about it, but one day God will tell you it is an account of this sacrifice. I have sworn by my name you cannot but be great. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Edifieth himself. And line upon line. In the next few minutes we will pray. Luke 18 verse 1. And he spake this parable unto them. To the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. First Thessalonians 5 17. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Quicken us and we will call upon your name. Elijah was a man of like passion, like us, but he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years. And Elijah said, there will be no rain except by my word. And after three and a half years, he went to pray. The Bible says he went and prayed once. And sent his servant and he said, I do not see a sign. He said, I won't give up. I will pray again. Go back and check. He said, there is no sign. He said, why don't we give up? He said, no, generals don't do it that way. Pray again. I count him faithful. I know I'm not praying to an idol and at the seventh time he came back he said master I didn't see much I only saw a fist because he delivers with his mighty right hand and he gave a sign of his hand in the cloud and Elijah said that is it I have been able to successfully transport realities from the realm of the spirit and they have entered the corridors of time and they have manifested in this realm and he told us, saddle your ass, for I hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain. The Bible says, the hand that he saw came upon him and he girded his loins. And on bare foot, he began to run until he overtook the chariots of Ahaz. While the disciples were journeying on the boat, that's how many people are journeying through life. They are using boats and they are moving. They seem to be going ahead. But like Jesus, we are staying behind and we are praying. After six hours, which is the number of man, when his grace comes upon us, we will get up and walk on the water. While they are rowing their boat and facing the storms of life, we will be walking as if Satan does not exist. I choose to be extraordinary I choose to be a sign and a wonder not because I'm a man of God I hope you know this has nothing to do with ministry too hot for the devil to earn that when they are enchanting things about you and they carry your picture to a shrine as soon as they call your name the fire that will come out there will be an eternal lesson that there are people and there are people the Bible says there are many kinds of bodies there are celestial there are terrestrial not everybody is the same not everybody is the same the person who takes my picture to a herbalist my fear is not the person is the herbalist Can you be so much of a threat to the kingdom of darkness that even at your default state you are on fire hallelujah i listened to a tape by someone he's an evangelist and he used to be in the occult and this is what he told me he said satan brings it's like a blanket the Bible says the God of this world, the God of this system has blinded their minds. Hallelujah. And then 
the blanket is over people and when they begin to pray what happens there is a breaking that's why sometimes when you start praying you see that you sense that there is a resistance you are struggling you are moving you don't even know what is happening in the spirit and sometimes you just feel like sleeping and some of you just start and lay down you are like clean the saliva and get up you will not go far that way brothers and sisters i won't lie to you anybody that tells you your prayer life is not important is the enemy you should be praying about hallelujah and while you pray there is the fire of the holy ghost i know you've had different teachings on fire one day i'll give you a scriptural teaching on fire fire is neither solid nor liquid are you listening to me fire is not threatened by anything you cannot box fire and put it in a hole you can't even catch it but you cannot resist the effect when you put your hand you can't hold fire you can't it's not solid so when you hear people say holy ghost fire i know that there are all kinds of exaggeration but brother there is a separate baptism called the baptism of fire he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and fire when that comes upon your life you enter the role of those who have registers in the realm of the spirit they are called touch not and that's what we want you to become you look at someone and they say this person has been oppressed by demons and you don't just sit and say hey, hey, hey what shall we do and then you're not just trying to activate your faith bring it out bring it out activate it no no you rise to a plane where as soon as you enter the room is the demons that will be negotiating they'll say we know you will cast us but we want to beg you can we give you where we want to go and they say go out just leave i was told that there was an event that happened in redeem camp some people gathered and they were praying over one demon possessed man and they spent hours because until you stand before the burning bush you cannot stand before pharaoh hallelujah and the man was peeling banana the white man wore his hat and he was just eating banana and he saw them struggling he said what's going on here he said we are trying he just came he tapped the man he told the demons out instantly all of them left see there are celestial beings there are terrestrial beings not everybody is equal in the spirit you may wear the same jeans 2005 you may buy the same polo shirt but when you begin to pray there is an earthquake in the spirit and they say whose voice is this because the bible says when the lepers the lepers in samaria they said why we sit here until we die let us get up in the spirit their sound was amplified and they had chariots that when you begin to pray they look at you in the spirit and say who is this man that looks like god that was the testimony of the three hebrew boys they said the fourth person we see standing looks like the son of god rise up on your feet Ah, hello ah, Elohim Madonna ah, Elohim Madonna Madonna, 
telling me that as we begin to pray many of you will activate the ministry of angels in your life many of you have not really enjoyed the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits sent to minister let me give you three testimonies quickly are you listening to me My first major encounter with the physical man, I'm not talking of angels in the spirit now. I was in Mararaba and we entered a bus. It was me and Manasseh. And I left my wallet in the bus and I came down. And now it was a busy market and everybody just left. And Manasseh took a bike to follow them. I left it. We all saw it inside. And when I just stood there, I wasn't praying. And the next thing I saw a man limping with my wallet. He came to me. He said, take. Literally. Literally. Hallelujah. We went for crusade in Pangshin 2006 or 7. As soon as we went to the venue, a man walked up to me and said, go around the city publicizing. Just use a loudspeaker. Go around the city. And I, I, I saw him walking and I turned to do something. And when I turned back, I did not see him again. Don't you think everybody in this auditorium is a human being you will be misled there are times that i preach and i see that some of the people sitting inside and outside are angels the moment i see them in the spirit they stand up and they walk away it's just that we don't share experiences i'm telling you the bible says he are common to mount zion some of you finish koinonia and someone just holds your hands the bible says be good to all men for in this some of you have entertained angels unaware you have entered buses with them from CGC down to Northgate. You gisted with them. From the day you met them, something happened to you in the night. You could not explain. You saw some faces in Koinonia you have never seen again. You came late and you wanted to leave. You know that all the ushers were inside. Suddenly you saw another usher telling you, why don't you come and sit down? And they gather all the ushers you cannot see the person again many of us have not activated ourselves in the place of prayer to begin to respond Kenneth E. Hagin walked in a realm where he enjoyed the ministry of angels they would come in his meeting and he would look at them and say hi how are you and call their names do you know that one angel destroyed an entire battalion of armies one and there are all kinds of angels there are ministering spirits there is the northern army of the lord who will take time in a prayer series if we take it again and will teach on angels he said oh daniel from the first day that you did set your face to pray he said your request was heard and while he was coming he was interrupted in the second heavens because the prince the spiritual wickedness that governs the territory of Persia, stopped him and because it was not in the office of gabriel to fight he could not do anything until michael the archangel came to the rescue and he said i am come to bring thee understanding every time there are shiftings in the spirit satan does not understand timings but he can see an unusual manifestation of the angelic and he knows that angels respond to the pleadings of the lord especially when messenger angels begin to come they come into your life when seasons are shifting when gabriel came to mary it was a season in her life when he came to zacharias he said i am gabriel that standeth in the presence of the lord i'd like you to pray and say lord tonight 
I activate the ministry of angels. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the angels of the Lord Basata Bakata Randa Barekebos Mambra Tekeboshia. The angel of the Lord and come them that fear him. I activate the ministry of angels. I activate the ministry of angels. Angels of finances. Miracle angels. Breakthrough angels. Worship angels. To bring songs. To bring skills. Angels of understanding. The northern army of the Lord. The ministering spirits. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you're a minister of the gospel here, let me teach you a secret. Have you ever had people pray a prayer and say, I position the angels of my anointing? Have you ever had such prayers? One scripture. Turn with me to Revelations 1. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head hallelujah let me show you a powerful mystery the bible says in psalm 103 that the angels of god who excel it in strength who confirms the words of his messengers quickly revelations 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him so God gave him a ministry was the ministry to show to reveal unto his servants things which must surely come to pass listen and he sent and signified it by what he said his angel the angel of the one who the message was given to that means an angel was sent every time god gives you a message every time god gives you a teaching there are angels that are sent with that revelation the job of those angels is to stand in partnership with the holy ghost to ensure that the words gain performance in your life and so they stop the cohort of darkness that will want to come and steal the seed of god's word in you that's why some of you while you are listening you want to get up and go out suddenly you find out that something will keep you back the angels the angels of the Lord and then while sitting a revelation will hit your spirit and that ends it or a word of knowledge is about to be given to you and demons want to distract you as soon as you go out you will see your friend coming and he will just drag you or you will stand and literally feel a resistance We are going to pray and say Lord there are angels you have assigned to my life to my destiny to my ministry Lord I pray right now may they be activated to the fullness of their ministry go ahead and pray William Brown had an angel that would come to give him uncommon insight and understanding are you praying Rata baka shaka balaraba, randa proska bashi dema, sata kata balaraba, rakata baka tabalaraba. Lord, we activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. We activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. Angels that follow this ministry, we activate you. The angels assigned to Koinonia. We activate you to bring healing, to bring breakthrough, to bring prosperity in the name of Jesus. The angel that follow everyone in Koinonia, let them be activated. Please pray over your family. There are angels. Declare and say let there be the activity of angels in my family bringing finances bringing healing angels of revelation and understanding 
angels of worship. The northern army. The angels of the Lord that excel in strength. We permit your ministry in Koinonia. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. Breakthrough, healing, deliverance. Cause testimonies to abound. Let lives be changed. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Sing it with all your heart. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory. You're the lifter up of my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. That's what has happened to you. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. I want to pray that an impartation of the Spirit will come upon you. Hallelujah. I tell you, the angels, listen, the angels in this place are more than the people here. Hallelujah. I will pray. Expect something to happen to you. Expect fire. Expect an anointing because I see the fire of the Lord upon my hand. That's what I see the fire of the Lord, and He tells me, Release it. And so I release it right now. Now let it move across my left and my right by the ministry of the angelic. Now, Koso, all over the building, move now, power of God. Let there be an activity of the angelic right now across the building by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Stay anointing. Stay gifting. Feel your work. Shake it. Side of the congregation, lift your hands. I stretch my hands. Let the fire come upon you now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take it, take it. I break up the post. The post here. Angels of the Lord, move and put the crowns that you show me upon the heads of men. Crowns, crowns, crowns. The Lord shows me crowns. Upon the hands of men. Everything that has li limited you. In the name that is above all names. I command that limitation. To disappear from your life forever. You to shout your amen like you believe it. I command every infirmity that is in your body, I curse it from its root. Be free from it now in the name of Jesus. Everyone marked for death here, whether by sickness, by the sword, by accident, I lift that ban over your life in the name of Jesus. I command.
command the fountains of favor to break open in your life right now. Receive favor, financial favor, favor of destiny help us in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that any habit and any lifestyle that has challenged you that you are tired of let it fall from your life now in the name of Jesus hallelujah every tongue that rises up against you I command right now the Bible says in Job 5 he said he will deliver you from the scorching tongues of men I command that every tongue that rises up against you will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus I command the Lord to judge evil doers in your life in the name of Jesus every level you would have been right now that Satan stopped you from coming right now by the power the spirit that came upon Elijah that caused him to run I invoke from the realm of the spirit let there be acceleration to your life in the name of Jesus hallelujah every dead prayer life in this place five minutes prayer two minutes prayer I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Every appetite and loss for sin, loss for evil, loss for immorality, whether it be money, ladies, men, whatever, I curse it in the name of Jesus. The grace to live a life of true holiness and righteousness. The grace to say no to everything that is not consistent with God's word. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Every kind of addiction in this place, whether it's drinking, womanizing, falsehood, whatever it is, you are free from it right now and forever. I release angelic encounters in your life. You will see them in your dreams. They will give you direction. They will tell you secrets. They will show you mysteries about the world, mysteries about your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you that as you walk out of this place tonight, you become a literal manifestation of signs and wonders. Go and do the things that you could not do. Go and lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. Go and cast out devils. Go and win souls. People who you are preached to that refuse to get born again, go back again with this anointing and you will win them over. Your family members, no matter how hardened they are, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are many of you who are timid. You have complex. You don't believe in yourself. Right now, in the name that is above every other name, you laugh, but you are suffering complex. You always think you will not amount to anything. Or you think, and it makes you always offensive at others. In the name that is above all names. For God has not given us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let inferiority and complex, the lies that Satan has spoken to you, that keeps you where you are, I curse it in the name of Jesus.
whatever testimony is still pending in your life i pull it from the realm of the spirit and i release it to your life receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus i speak over your life and your destiny no one will terminate your destiny in the name of jesus every pronouncement that has been made upon your life i declare as surely as the lord god of israel lives i command a new beginning for you those pronouncements come to null and void in the name of jesus whatever mindset that satan has used as a stronghold in your life that you don't want to let go but is stopping you from entering the blessings of god i shatter that stronghold in the name of jesus for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ go and enjoy the favor of the lord go and enjoy the blessings of the lord in the name of jesus let the word of god come alive let there be unusual understanding that right now as you study the word something will happen to your spirit man unusual insights you will learn things you were not taught by anybody receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation the spirit of understanding let the bread of the spirit be broken let your eyes be open i take away the fail from your eyes grace to walk in obedience to god's word in the name of jesus give god a shout of praise Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
shout it say in the name of Jesus tonight I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray Separate from God's sort of us. I tear it down. All that's of delay. All that's of barrenness. All that's of failure. yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone while doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness Shabbat Kata Matele Kotosia Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Uh, 
Alléluia. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories. Associated with territories. I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Self time in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on horizon the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen, I don't care how many, call it. Listen, you are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Shake it, man, and I'm a consummation. And take it, take it, don't shoot. Labrador, Scatabaran, don't shoot again. 
Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Maketos sotomo shabada. La pray maketos sotomo besegetua. I declare it. Maketos sotomo besegetua. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. No, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication, the grace to pray, I receive it right now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Fire. Fresh fire. On my altar. Fresh grace. To pray. Fresh grace. To fast. Fresh grace. To intercede. For warfare, I command every dead prayer life around my life 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened, no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened lift your hands shall I I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies I pray for you now I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three i command those altars now be broken be broken I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I judge those altars now. 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 now. By fire, I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim, of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of Jesus 
that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them, please. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness i cut it by the god of heaven i cut it by the god of heaven hallelujah I'm seeing 11 ladies the Lord is opening my eyes listen now I'm seeing rings on all their ten fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the Lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of Jesus 11 people ladies especially I'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray, whoever came into this meeting, whether online or offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people. Eleven in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me 
I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now, inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, no escape. No escape for any power of darkness. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. Anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, i command that mark to be erased from your life now i command that mark to be erased from your life now Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.